Locofy allows you to bring your code components from your storybook into the plugin. This allows you to drag and drop them into your design and preview your design with your live working components as well as finally export code that uses your own components. Locofy now supports both Storybook 6 and 7 with a wide variety of props including on-click actions. In this video we will be showing you how you can easily set up your Storybook components inside Locofy. Let's have a look at the Storybook we want to export components from. This is a sample storybook that has many components as well as their variations. There are controls that you can use to view the components in different states. The goal is to use these components you have already created when exporting your code with Locofy so that the generated code will use these pre-created components. Let's begin with the installation of the Locofy storybook add-on. First, select drag pre-built components and click on the add storybook button. Here you will see the setup instructions which we will follow in this video. We have already hosted our components on Storybook, so go to the next step and use these commands to install the Locofy add-on package into your repository. Our sample repo uses yarn, so let's run this in the terminal. After this is installed, register the add-on in the Storybook main.js. We will add our Storybook add-on here. Since we already have existing add-ons, we can copy this to the list. Next, copy this environment variable and add it to your .env file. If a .env file does not exist on your repository, go ahead and create one. Paste the variable inside the file. The token is now added to the environment variable. Next, run the three commands listed in the plugin. yarn build storybook, yarn locofy sync, and yarn surf storybook static to build storybook static and view it locally using localhost. You will see that the Locofy add-on is now added to storybook. Open the add-on and export a few items. Select a few elements such as buttons and inputs and export it to the Locofy plugin. Once you see the success screen, head back to the Locofy plugin and click on I have completed all the steps. Now that you have set up the add-on and brought your components from Storybook, when you open the drag and drop widget, you will find all the components that you have synced across. Now you can easily drag and drop them into your design. You will notice that the controls you have set up in the Storybook have also been transferred over here, and as of now, you can also set up on-click actions. You will need to follow Storybook's best practices for setting up your arguments and argument types to achieve this. Now when you use the preview, you will notice that your components are all working. These are the components that you have already built in your repository that you have brought over using the Storybook and Locofy integration. Now sync to the Locofy builder and export and run your code. Open your generated project in VS Code. Here you can find the code for the page that you had exported. You will see that Locofy is calling the code components from your repository and as such needs to import your components. There are a few ways that you can do this. First is to combine the files that were generated into your existing repository. Simply copy these files into your code, then import your components. To keep them as separate projects, publish your components as a public or private package. Then install the package here and import the respective components. With the Locofy Storybook integration, you can now easily work with code components that you have already created for your design system or even use other open source components published by other people. This is how you can integrate Storybook with the Locofy plugin and hence accelerate your design to code workflow by 10 times.